Hi, this is Deborah Dashinger on the Dare to Dream radio show. Dare to Dream is on two radio stations every week. We are on 92.5 KYHY.com, and the other digital radio station we are on is toginet.com, T O G I net.com. So please join us there. You're only hearing the inspirational opening, but there's a whole show that goes on after this. This is my happy place. You know how when you do a meditation, they often will say, go to your happy place. Well, this is my happy place because I get to interview people who are successful, people who had a dream and found a way to make that into a reality and then live that dream. And I get to spend time with people that are so full of life and joy because of the space they're living in and the reality they're living in. I find that exciting because making dreams come true is important to me and my journey and I hope it is to you too because if it is tune in because these people are very inspirational you'll learn so much there's always something to pick up from each guest that's on my show so our opening today is going to be about extreme self-care and a couple other shout outs before I get into that is just to let you know Regarding Dare to Dream, we are worldwide, as you know. Uh, we're also on the Armed Forces Radio Network. Pleasure to be there. And Dare to Dream has a Facebook fan page. So check us out there. It's Dare to Dream Radio and TV. In addition, we have excellent ad rates, worldwide, global advertising. So if you have any interest, write to me, Debbie at 925KYHY.com. That's D-E-B-B-I at 925KYHY.com. The opening, and don't just listen to the opening, check out the hour-long interview that follows because it's really, really motivating. Really, you can do it too, is the message. Our inspiration for today is about extreme self-care. Self-care is interesting because some people get freaked out about it and think, oh my God, that means selfishness. And selfishness is even really interesting because what does that mean after all? I mean, we all associate it with doing so much for ourselves that we ignore other people's needs and wants. But we're not referring to that here. We're referring to real caring of the self because so many of us are busy running around and doing for others, work, family, friends, and so forth, that by the time we're done, we're just so depleted. So extreme self-care means taking care, take care of yourself, but taking it to a whole new level. Scheduling time for yourself on your calendar in ink every day. Can you imagine looking at your calendar and going, 9 to 10, that's my time. Or 7 to 8 p.m., that is my time. And then you honor that no matter what. Someone calls you up and says, what are you doing at 7? Can't do it. I've got something scheduled. You don't have to say what it is. It's your time. Extreme care also means surrounding yourself with people who are equals, people who are smart, they're self-aware, they want to see you best, they support you. You feel good around them. You know that feeling when you're with somebody and it doesn't feel good inside of your stomach when you leave them? Don't spend time with them anymore. They're not right for you. And then there are people you leave their company and you think, I feel terrific. Those are the people you want in your life. Also, eliminate clutter. Clutter really energetically just weighs you down. Is it in your car? Is it in your workspace? Is it, is it in your home? Take the time it takes to clean that out and eliminate it. Don't go there anymore. Also, commitments. Do not make any commitments that are out of guilt or obligation. We all know what that feels like. Someone asks us to do something and really what we want to do is go, no! or no, thank you, or go running and screaming out of the room, but instead what we end up doing is saying, okay, because the bubble behind the okay is, if I don't do this, I'm going to really feel terrible, or you're going to think blank of me. Don't do anything whatsoever out of guilt or obligation. Stop being an automatic yes machine when people ask for your help, and instead learn to say no, no, no. No, sorry, no thank you. With confidence and ease, do you give too much at your own expense? Do you give in order to avoid anxiety or perceived disapproval? Because the best way to gain self-confidence is to do what you are afraid to do. And oftentimes that's saying no. Extreme self-care initially can require some feelings of discomfort, like guilt because you're putting your own needs first. 
fear of being judged and criticized by others, anxiety from challenging long-held beliefs and behaviors. The point is this, accept no less than the highest of standards for yourself, your work, your relationships, your health, your overall well-being, how you spend your time and self-care. You make choices from now on from a place of self-love and compassion. Mac Anderson said, people are like sticks of dynamite. The power is on the inside, but nothing happens until the fuse gets lit. Always engage in work that gives you an opportunity to express your greatest gifts and talents and caring for yourself, emotionally, physically, spiritually, your health in a way that is aligned with who you are, what you need most. And when you allow this for yourself, here, here's where you X out the selfishness because when you do this for yourself, extreme self-care, guess what? You start showing up for others in the same way. You have upped it to a whole new level for yourself and others, but you have to start with yourself first. Set limits on your availability so you don't feel overwhelmed. And just be aware of when you're headed into a trouble area. You may start inking time for yourself and doing all the right things and then all of a sudden find yourself, wow, how did I get in this situation? I've been taking care of myself. So what? Don't worry. If you find yourself in a troubled area, just back out and answer the question or finish the sentence, the best action for me to take to get back in alignment with my highest self is fill in the blank and you'll know what to do to write your path. And here's the last one, make pleasure a priority. Real pleasure, not just something done occasionally. Leave your desk in the middle of the day, every day, to take a walk outside, be in the sun, be in nature. Enjoy a massage once a week. Develop habits that really make you feel happy. Listen to music you love, drink tea you love. Take yourself to an environment that makes you feel terrific. Hang out with somebody who makes you laugh. Go to a comedy club. Buy flowers for your environment. A great life starts with feeling great right now. Connect with your highest self. Have a higher vision of your life. Say, higher self, what's a higher vision of my life that I am creating for myself right now? Tell me what that is, and I will step into living that. Dr. Seuss wrote, be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. This is Deborah Dashinger, Dare to Dream radio show. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to stick around for the awesome interview that's going to be coming, Dare to Dream.